What's going on everyone? Oh my gosh, look at this fan. It's so cool. Okay, so this video is gonna be super fun, a little bit different, you know? I know some of you guys like the little vlog type content. I get to hang out with my favorite people, Teresa Romer, I love her so much. I think she's the richest woman in Houston. Some can argue that the, uh, the other people are, but those people are so boring. If you, in my opinion, those people are so boring. I love Teresa. So I hope you love her as much as I do. I'm the most down to earth, approachable, lovable person that walks the face of this earth. And I don't think most people know that. They see the closet and they see that person or they see me in the Rolls Royce or they see me in this house. But at the end of the day, I'm still that little girl that was raised on the ranch. This video means a lot to me and I was able to find a sponsor for it. It's sponsored by Manscaped. Number one, below the belt, men's grooming. The razor, like I said, I always talk about it all the time. I love that it doesn't nick you. It's super easy to clean and you can use it in the shower. It's like a win, it's super easy. It makes my life super easy because I'm always on the go. So I know you guys will love it too. Um, but definitely check them out. The link will be down below. And thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with the drop. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and Teresa Romer, honey! And in today's video, Teresa, the richest woman in Houston, the most fabulous woman in Houston, the woman with the world's largest closet, yes. link down below. Yes. See, there he has go. to work with a woman here. Yeah, the wind. Get the wind going this way. <laughs> so, today's video, Teresa has a Bentley, and we'll, we'll see, it's over there. Her says Romer on it. Mm -hmm. so you were thinking about getting another Bentley. Right. So I was like, I have one here that I ran in. <laughs> it's right here. This is the Bentley Super Sport Ooh. Continental GT. Ooh. And I thought, why don't you test drive it? Yeah. So let's go. Got the Louis Vuitton in the back. Yeah, I got the Louis Vuitton back there. That box takes up the whole back. Yeah, box. yeah. So you might have to open my side because mine's locked. Oh. But I want to show them this one. So here it is. Does everything look similar to you, to your other one? Very similar. All right. Very similar. Oh, it's so weird that I'm sitting on this side. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're used to it with my car. Yeah. Well, I love Teresa's Bentley. So safety first. Yes. Put our little seat yes. belts on. Okay, guys. The windows are rolled up. <laughs> it's, Ooh, who is, uh, this one has a push start one. Does yours yep, have that one? Push okay. start. Yep. So what do you think? So it looks very similar. <laughs> Looking very, very similar. I mean, other than yours is like, this one's all black. Yeah. Mine's got some woodwork in it. Yeah. But so let's, it looks very so how nice long there. have you been, I'll let you drive and we'll talk. We, well, we, the Romers. Yes. Are on our third Bentley GT. <gasps> oh. Third. Yes. Yeah. And every one of them's always had to be black. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Yeah. Weird. I don't know. They're, you, they're easier to sell. They're more luxurious. People usually get black cars. Right. Yeah. Even though black's hard to keep clean. Mm -hmm. Now, the other day, out in the Woodlands, I did test drive a white four-door Bentley. Oh, the Mulliner or something like that? Yes. Is that what it's called? Yeah. But I kind of felt like an old lady. <laughs> no, that, that's very for the chauffeur. Yeah. So you don't... Exactly. You don't need that one. Exactly. So you always get the two-door Bentley. We always get the, the two-door two door Bentley. Yeah. And, the two so, and then, of course, we have the two-door um, Rolls Royce, you, yeah. you know. And then we have a Mercedes SUV, and my husband always takes the Mercedes SUV because yeah. he always likes to take the dogs everywhere with him. Uh huh. Yeah. Remember so that. then I'm stuck with a two door belly. Oh, what a lie. What a lie. I'm just stuck I'm with the stuck with the belly. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But then I go to buy things, and yeah. I have to cram it. Somehow oh. the other day I had it's, to it's not very much space. No, there's not very much space. You know, uh, you'll notice there's a back seat, but literally nobody can sit back there. Yeah, and if they do, it's so uncomfortable. Well, it's not and, even worth it. Or Don't legs, even do. Or their legs get cut off. Yeah. Can you imagine? It's, it's not. Can it's, you imagine? No. Yeah. Right there? It just won't fit the house because I always try to put people back here. Yeah. Because I have this one for a whole month. Yeah. And it just doesn't work. Right. You know. So it's no. just like. So it's no. almost like just for fun. It is. That it has. Because a, the, you know, if you've got legs and you have, you've got to drive. Yeah. So literally, even though it's got a back seat. The only people you can put back there is somebody in a car seat. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Because they, they can't have legs or they have to sit across this way. Now, see, yeah. Mine has a, a the console <gasps> thing here. Oh, yeah. So you can't even like sit in the middle. Yeah. See, that somebody could kind of like lay yeah, maybe yeah, a small one. Sideways. So yeah. literally, the other day I had to go buy 32 more bins for Christmas shopping storage. Yeah. Bins. Oh, I saw that. The can bins. you imagine trying to. Oh. I was dying trying to put 32 To put in the attic bins. and everything. Yes. Which looks good, by the way. But here I am in a Bentley trying to get all this crap. Yeah. 
So, you guys, the next video is we're gonna have Teresa Roma drive a Nissan Sentra 2002, <laughs> 1986. Can you imagine? <laughs> no, no power steering. No power steering. <laughs> Oh okay, God, I'm gonna show them the little steering wheel yes, up here. Yes. I hope you guys can see. Yes. All right, so let's take it for a spin around the block and okay. see how you like it. Okay. See if you can feel it. So see, feels any different? Here she goes. Mm. Sounds the same. There's mine. You see mine. Boom! Oh, right there. The brakes are a little touchy on this one. Oh yeah. Yeah. So there's my Bentley setting there. Yeah. Yes. Now this is not black. This is gray. This is gray. Yeah, like a dark well, gray. So you didn't get to choose a color. You just had to. Take no, I get what I get. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. So we're gonna go down this way. What year is this one? This one I think is 2012. Okay. Yeah. And I think this is like a carbon carbon fiber. Yeah, it's it's um, it's not the black piano that's in my Rolls Royce. Yeah. But it's. Cause, and I also saw, okay, let me ask you this. Okay. You have a Bentley. Yes. People dream of having these cars, mm -hmm. you know, and when I started driving them, it was fun at first, but then I got bored. <laughs> no, 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 you get I get bored driving I, a luxury car. I get bored driving a luxury car. So, so you have like, I think uh, Rolls Royce is like one of the best cars in the yes. world. Do you get bored driving it? Like, Never. I want another one. Never. You don't ever feel that way? Like, you want another one? No, 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 one? I know. I always feel like I want a different car. Like, like the other day, I was in a showroom, and I was, like, sitting in a couple different Lamborghinis, yeah. a couple Ferraris, a couple Porsches, and all of a sudden, I'm like, ooh, I want another car. Yeah. But then it passes. Yeah. Um, I'm like, okay, yeah, no, I like mine. Yeah. Because I, I feel... I don't know. I just get bored of things easily, right? Like, and then I want to switch it up. So before I met my husband, yeah, I was one of these people that I had to get a different car every two years. It did not matter. Yeah. I needed something new, something different. like zero miles type every of thing. Every two months, every two years, just something new. Okay. Um, but now I'm. Well, first of all, I'm never gonna get a Brennan Rolls Royce because oh, yeah. I almost died on oh, Mount yeah. Kilimanjaro to, to get, get it. Yeah. Royce. Um, the Bentley will probably get rid of again. Yeah, no, I like Bentleys. They're cool. I like them, and I want to buy one and paint it real pink. <laughs> just pink, hot pink. I don't know. Paint it, don't paint it. Get a wrap. Wrap pink. pink. No, just get a wrap. Because I want to be like Paris Hilton. Oh my god. Because <laughs> she had a pink oh, Bentley. That's funny. She, and I know people are gonna be like, "Well, that's you know, that's low, low class." No. Get a Bentley pink. Oh, <laughs> no, that would be no I want a pink Bentley. <laughs> so this one rides a little rougher, so it yeah. must be a different sport package because it rides just a little stiffer. Yeah and rougher than mine yeah so it might be a different sport package mm -hmm. i'm not familiar with the different because i think all, to me the the way you know it's a sport oh, oh my god, god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <The> way, <laughs> the way you know just, it's a sport it has those little gills in the front yeah for the air to come <laughs> out scare you? yes yes i hate going fast i hate it i get so shocked oh my god yeah you can just go around i'll just flip you I have full, I have uh what do you call that insurance? Yeah. Oh. We we need it. We need it. With Teresa driving. With Teresa driving. I'm used to driving these cars. No, that's what you have to do sometimes. You just gotta punch it and have yeah. some fun. And do you turn heads in your Bentley? Oh yeah. Yeah, people still like them. Yeah. I just think this is one of those cars that people like. Well, because a Bentley is a car along with other luxury cars, but a Bentley is a car that most people aspire to have. Yeah. Because they're expensive. Yeah. And not everyone can afford one. So Anytime you see a Bentley or a Rolls Royce or a high high end Porsche or yeah. Lamborghini, Ferrari, people are going to look at it because I, most yeah. eighty percent of the population can't afford to buy one. Yeah. So they they like of it, course yeah. they want to stare at it. They want to look at it. Is this guy going to turn or not? Like hello. come on, I know. come on, honey. He's still got the Bentley. <laughs> yeah. That's probably he's staring too much. He's staring at us. So do, so you got the Rolls Royce. You got the Bentley. Is there any cars that you just you like? That you want to get or you're you're done um, no I, I would still like to get a lamborghini yes you know, oh teresa that's fun. my dream car that I for fun right yeah i mean who doesn't like to have fun i guess i'll see you in one of those but our problem is we always buy our cars we pay cash yeah. and so my husband likes to hang on to them forever because mm -hmm. they're paid for you know yeah unlike before when i met him i would lease vehicles because I wanted a new one every two years. Yeah. But he yeah. doesn't like to lease. He's like, ah, it's throwing away your money. You need to buy it, purchase it. That yeah. way if the bottom fell out of the world tomorrow, you're okay. You don't have any car payments. Yeah, exactly. So that's how I feel. 
Like if YouTube ended, <laughs> I, I can, I can, oh, right here, return here. Oh, I can say, I got my tummy snatched, I got my chest snatched, because they can't take that away. No. You know, everything's paid for. My furniture, exactly. everything's paid for. Exactly. So it's like, I'm good. Yeah. I can leave and be like, and all my Louis bags are paid for too. See? Yeah. Right? There, there's something to be said about having things in your life paid for. Right? Hey. So that hey. you don't have bills. You don't, you know, if like, you never know. You yeah. don't ever know what what's going to change in the world. So why be sitting here with all that debt? Then the world falls apart yeah. or you lose your job or whatever. And now you lose your home or you lose your cars or you lose all this because you can't afford to pay for it because you don't have a job. Yeah. Or the economy went to hell or whatever. Yeah. You know? So guys, the other day we went shopping at Trend Mall. Yes. So I'm going to insert that footage next. So you're going to see us in different clothes. You're going to see us in Teresa's Bentley. So we're going back in time. <laughs> right? So we might look a little younger. <laughs> By what, like two weeks or one week younger. Okay. So we'll be in Teresa's Bentley. Bye. Bye. What's going on, guys? It's Rich Lux. And I'm with Teresa Romer. And we're in her pretty Bentley. Oh, yeah. This is the Bentley Continental GT. Yes. And it's so beautiful, guys. You hear all the beeping, it's all the sensors, because the, there's cars around us, and it beeps whenever there's a car who gets a little too close yeah. and all that. Get your ass over. Yeah, so here's our view. Yeah. So today's Great. topic, I haven't done a video like this in a while, but it's a car, our luxury car vlog. You know, we have a beautiful babe here, yes. beautiful cars. So we're talking about credit scores, yeah. and I was telling her, and I recently found this out. Okay. And a lot of people don't know this. Yeah, so like, let's say my credit score is like 708, 706, which is pretty good. Teresa said that was good numbers. Yeah. And I said, if I go to Louis Vuitton and I buy a bag on my credit card, and it's like maybe $3,000, $5,000 bag, then my credit score will drop. Yep. Till it'll be like 650, 670 or something like that. Because now your debt ratio is higher. Because now they think, oh, you have more debt. Yep. And it's like, man. <laughs> and then she said, she made a good point because she said, well, you know, you I use my card so I could get points for airline and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's kind of like a game. Yeah, it's a game. So you, you put you put some of your items on a credit card. Your score goes down. You yeah. pay your credit card off. It goes back up. But I like using my credit cards because I like to gain miles. Yeah. So. Exactly. Then when I fly, I don't have to pay for an airline ticket. Yeah. So it's all a game. Okay, was there, what was your very, since we're talking about cars and credit, what was your very first car that you remember? That I bought? Did any car that you remember, like... So when I turned 16, my parents always said, when you turn old enough to get a car, yeah. you're going to have to pay for it yourself, because we can't do it, because yeah. we were not wealthy at all. This is back in the farm, or... This is back... Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I saved money, so no, don't laugh, because okay. this was in the 70s. Yeah. So... But I, I finally <laughs> saved $500. Yay! And I went and bought a 1970 Pontiac Le Mans for $500 cash. Pontiac Le Mans? Yes. Two door. It was pea green with a yellow racing stripe down the side. Yeah. And it had blue velour seat covers. <laughs> wow. Okay, how long did it and last? And I was so proud because I, that was my car. I paid cash yeah. for it. I was so proud. I mean, it was the ugliest car you ever seen, ever did see. <laughs> but I didn't care. I yeah. paid for that car. I was proud. It got me to and from school, to and from my job. So yeah. I didn't care. Okay, my okay. This is people with shock people. My first car was a Chrysler Sebring. Ooh, ooh, luxury. <laughs> you really? Really? <laughs> it was a Chrysler Sebring. Uh, it, it was a it was a coupe, and I love that car so much, oh, yeah. man. And oh, yeah. my parents, they. What year was this? Oh my! Well, I don't want to say my age, but it had well, to be. I did. It had to be like, <laughs> oh man, maybe two. Oh man, I want to say maybe two thousand five. 2003 somewhere oh, around yeah, there yeah. so my parents put the down payment and it made me pay for it oh you lucky yeah duck. they did that and i wow. remember uh my dad because he went to go be with the lord now right but when i would have a flat tire or something he would he would change it like he would take it to go get it fixed oh, when i would be nice. asleep and i missed that oh because now when something happens to a car i don't have no one to do it Nobody anything. Does yeah it you, no? i'm just like i missed that that's dumb have you ever eaten there this is Ruchi's, guys. <laughs> it's his famous place. Yeah. Oh, I did not know that the night I was taken there. I, yeah. I did an event there one, or not there, I did an event, and one night I said to my driver, I'm so hungry, and but it was really late, right? Yeah. 
he takes us there. And I'm I'm wearing. It, it's open. I know. It's but open late. I'm yeah, I For know. Twenty four so, hours. No, it was yeah. really late, and I'm wearing uh, Louboutins, and I've got diamonds everywhere, and I'm carrying a Birkin, and I'm like, oh my god, we're yeah. like in the wrong. I mean, I, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, do we get out of here alive? Seriously. But I know, I, I was told it was a very famous place. But yeah, it's good. They have really good quesadillas there. Oh my God, oh and my their God. servings are like this big. I'm so, okay, hold on, hold on. This, I've been wanting to ask you this question, so I might catch you off guard. Okay, am I okay. close? Uh, oh, yes. Wait, yeah, okay, you're getting there. Okay. Because I, I, we're, we're going to this store, we're going to go shopping. Okay, I know you don't eat fast food, but if you could, what, what, do you, what would you indulge in? Pizza? Love okay. Pizza. Domino's? No. Like where? Like it's got to be thin crust because I don't like gluten free. I, I don't like thick. <laughs> okay. I don't like thick and like like one time I tried a piece of pizza in New York City. Yeah. I like a New York style pizza. I wanted to get it. Was it, so thick, yeah. it was so big and chewy and greasy and nasty. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No thin crust. Pizza. So like with chicken on it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so you don't like cheeseburger, you no. don't really, I can't believe that. Oh. No. She doesn't eat, really eat fast, I've never seen her eat fast food. Like, oh, I'm so busy, let me stop at McDonald's. She, she does, I've never seen her do that. Well, I, I have stopped at a Jack in the Box and got tacos. Okay, this is it, we're gonna get in here. Yeah. If you miss it, it's okay. Here or? Yeah, it's oh. in here. You see, it says Trend Mall. Okay. That big thing, that's where we're going, oh. Trend Mall. We're going to, mm. We're going to Trend Mall. <laughs> It's a really, it's oh, a. Oh, is, is that beauty supply place where you and Lush? That's when we wigs? got the wigs, yeah. Oh my god, yeah, it's right next too. door. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna wig shopping the house, guys. So, this store, I'll, I'll get a little clips of in this store yeah. called Trend Mall. They have yeah. really cool, fashion forward clothes, and I think you're gonna like it. Is it gonna be like Saks? <laughs> no, it, you know what? They copy a lot of like they copy a lot of stuff like. Oh that. really? Like the silhouettes. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I've seen that before. Oh, okay. So, this, it, I'm like, this is like Emilio Pucci knockoff. Really? And I'm like, no one would know. So, what, a lot of so people don't know what Rich that is. Rich and I just exchanged Christmas presents. Yeah. <laughs> and he showed me a pair of pants that he got here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, when you guys see him in these pants, they're going to go, what the hell? They look, they no, look so good. Like a, they're like a cross between Fendi and Gucci. Yeah. 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 So, and so. I was like, damn, I like this store. Mm, it's cute. Okay. So he bought me something from here. Yes. You guys will see it on one of my videos. Okay, you gotta watch her channel, guys. Yeah. Teresa Romer. Yeah, so you're gonna see me wearing something that he bought me here. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. Oh my God, it's so cool. I, I was afraid that you already had it. Because I was like, she already has this. Well, I have a lot of yeah. things like that. Because I knew, not. you're like, you like shiny stuff. And I'm like, yeah. she probably has something like this. <laughs> And so when you were like, oh my God, I was like, yes, I did good. Yes. Okay. What well, was A your- A lot of times when a right gay there, person there. buys something for you, they do good because gay men usually have really good taste. Yeah. I wanted it for myself. <laughs> I did. We're gonna have to wait till they go or get us, these people give us a break. For me. Look, he's in, they don't know. They don't know who this is. And why be a Kardashian when you could be a Romer? Exactly. That needs to be on a shirt. We have a maid. Oh! We have a maid. She has merch. Oh, I I'm wearing one. Hey Peeps. Ooh, it's got Hey Peeps Hey Peeps. Yes. No man boobs either. It yes. just says Hey Peeps. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so here's the beauty supply. And then there is Trend Mall. Y'all, if you're from Houston, you're going to love this store called Trend Mall. How did you find it? I, one of the girls told me about it. One of the girls? Yeah, because a lot of girls shop here. Now, like, when you yes, say you girls, are you talking drag queens? Or? I'm talking drag queens and trans. Oh. The girls. It's just a, it's a good store like that. I think I only have one umbrella. Oh, that's fine. We're, We're just right share. here. I'm going to run in. We're going to have to share yeah. an umbrella. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Yeah, so here's so a, here's a pearl. Oh, look at the pearl one. Okay, and this one. <gasps> this is like a unicorn. Type. Look at that. Oh my God, these are so fun. Look at these. They're so fun. Can you imagine where we would like wear all of this too? So do you love them? Oh my God, look at this one. Oh God. Jeez. So I should get a nude one too. A nude right? illusion. Oh, a little nude illusion. Nice. Okay. No. No, I've never seen anyone with bags. Maybe a shopping cart. Look how funny. <laughs> You're like very quirky, very wacky. Yes. <laughs> and then... 
No way. Where did I just buy this? Oh my god. Where? That's Where? the same exact jacket. Where Wait, tell me, tell me the drama. At the boutique, how much is it here? There's no price on there. Where? Down here. More or less. It's about the same. Yeah? 47.99. 47. But still. I just went to a very high-end boutique. Yeah. And she had these. I just bought one. Remember? It's the same exact Guys, one. Guys, it's the exact same thing. and everything. <laughs> Dang. Hot and delicious. And this is not high-end. You just come in and yeah. I feel like there's some tea here. So now the high-end store is carrying the same stuff that's in this store, guys. And, and I'm not going to call out the boutique. Not a, I'm not, not, not going to tell you store, what boutique but. it was, but it's a very high-end boutique, is it not? Yeah. I'm and look, shook. I'm shook. Oh my god. Okay, so they have evening gowns. And they got jumpsuits. <laughs> this is gonna be okay, a really Here we go, start. come on. Two, three. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you for watching. Oh it my means, god! It means so much. It means so much you watch her videos. Oh, wow, you look so well, okay. <laughs> <gasps> This is very, like, very Gucci. Like, yes. Oh my god. Ooh, I wonder if a medium would fit. I'm very long waisted right yeah. here. No, but it's straight. It's a four-way straight. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Hi, ma'am. Do you work here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. Like, you have more like a waist. Yes. Teresa Romer working retail for one minute. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> this takes me back to my days. <laughs> really cool oh store. Oh my god. It's just like totally oh see-through. Oh my. <gasps> hey, it's totally see This is a Teresa dress. Very. It's so see-through. Oh. oh my god. And it's got the built-in bra and panty. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the shopping haul. Check out Teresa's version because she got a lot more footage. <laughs> we had wig shopping. She has all that on her channel. You don't want to miss that one. It's going to be good. So head on over to her channel. After you watch this video, go to her channel. Check it out. You're going to see everything she bought. It was massive. What, was, what do you think the, the number one thing you, you got? Oh my God, that jacket. That okay. black leather jacket. Ooh. Oh, with the holes, oh, yeah. Boss bitch. You oh, have to go, yeah. see, you don't, know, you don't know what we're talking about because <laughs> you're watching my channel. Go to her channel, watch this jacket she bought. Oh, you're gonna love for to it, die. you're gonna live for to it. And die. I'm gonna show you what I bought in another video. I'm gonna bought... show that coat to Christopher at Neyman's. He's gonna Yes. <laughs> okay guys, bye. Check out Teresa's channel bye. too, okay? And like subscribe, leave a comment, all that. Bye.